so lupus is an autoimmune disease, a, a generalized autoimmune disease. So autoimmune diseases are diseases where your uh, immune system, which is like your white blood cells that are there usually to help fight infections or fight germs, instead of fighting germs, they turn against your own tissues. Uh, so it's sort of uh, you're attacking your own tissues with your immune system. Uh, now with lupus in particular, it's unusual because those white cells are not uh, necessarily attacking just one specific organ, but they're attacking uh, proteins that are present in, in, in all the cells of your body. Uh, and because it's against universal components of cells, it can have really variable manifestations, which would make, is what makes lupus really kind of an unusual disease. Uh, the fact it can do so many different things in different people. How common is lupus? Uh, lupus is uncommon but not rare. Uh, I'd say it occurs in about 1 in 2,000 people uh, and is increased in frequency in, in people of color, uh, non-Caucasian people. Uh, now you mentioned that uh, it has a lot of different types of manifestations. So what, what are some of the symptoms you normally see? Uh, well, the most common manifestations are systemic symptoms, by which I mean fever, weight loss, fatigue, malaise, feeling fluish, uh, joint pain, rashes. Those are the most common ones. Uh, but there are many other symptoms that occur at more moderate frequency. One of the most serious manifestations is kidney involvement, which occurs in uh, 20 to 40 percent of patients. Uh, and in some cases can be quite serious and progress on to kidney failure. Is there a particular age that these symptoms begin to appear? Um, Lupus is most common in women and most common in uh, childbearing years, so 20s through 40s. Uh, but it can occur in childhood too, and it can occur in, in older age after menopause. It's just much, much less common in those age groups. Are, are there any particular symptoms that a woman or a man even should ask their doctor about if, uh, uh, when they should ask about lupus? Uh, it's, it's a little tricky because the symptoms are, are so varied from person to person. In addition to what I, I mentioned, it can cause a variety of blood disorders, it can cause uh, hair loss, it can cause chest pain and, and respiratory problems. Uh, so the symptoms are really varied. And the most common ones, uh, jo persistent joint pain, joint swelling, particularly symmetrical small joint pain in the hands or the feet. Uh, if you're starting to have a lot of joint pain, it's one of the things that can cause that amongst many other causes. Uh, severe unexplained fatigue, severe unexplained weight loss. It's something to think about, but these are non-specific symptoms. Uh, that's why it can take a long time for lupus to come to diagnosis uh, after the symptoms finally start, uh, because the symptoms, at least early on, can be relatively non-specific.